Pardon me. Alright. For fuck's sake. It was a heavy one last night. Oh, I, I, I'm sure I'll be fine buying the wheel. I, I had um, I had a skin fall last night. I'm not, I'm not wearing my hat like this as a kind of um, like you know the kids what they do. It's um, to be completely honest with you, I woke up like it. How have I done that with my shirt? The collar's there. How the fuck did I manage this? Hang on, I hope this doesn't break T's and C's. Alright, um, yeah, sorry about that. Can't remember what the fuck happened. But I, um, I ended up waking up, of, of all places, in, um, in a zoo. Specifically, uh, you know, the, uh, you know those enclosures that they have for um fucking baboons? Right, I, I woke up in one of those. All these people kind of like stood there watching me. I, was, I woke up and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Where, where am I? I? I start hearing like, or, 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 or like monkey noises. Look round, there's fucking um, baboons everywhere. People taking pictures. Kids pointing and laughing at me. And yeah, I mean, I had to grab my clothes and, and get here as fast as I could. Completely forgot where I parked the um, the fucking truck. It was it was an absolute shambles, quite frankly. I mean luckily luckily I um I've watched a few like David Attenborough documentaries and they, they talk about like monkeys and they have like a hierarchy, don't they, the um the baboons. And I think they felt threatened um seeing me there, of course I'm taller than them. So they must have seen me as like a, a threat they're like coming in on their turf. I know from watching these like David Attenborough programs what I had to do. I, I had to fight. I had to fight the king monkey, the king baboon, and um, I mean as you can see I won. But yeah, I mean they're bloody they're bloody quick baboons, bloody fast, and they got a fucking bite on them as well. I ended up grabbing them. You know they have like um those like big rocks and like the the king's usually like at the top of the rock. And we were fighting at the top of this thing, and um, I ended up just chucking him off. I think he broke his back. I had to go down and finish the job. You know, you don't want to be cruel. You gotta. He was lying there, like if I hadn't trodden on his head, in the end, he, he would have just been lying there dying slowly. So I'm, I'm pretty fucking hungover. To be honest, I'm, I'm probably still pissed. Um, but you know. I've driven in worse conditions. <laughs>